Welcome to this Blender 2.64 video tutorial. Um, most recently, um, well, it may have been a month ago, I don't really remember, I did a uh, Blender tutorial on uh, and it kind of an introduction to the skin modifier and showed you how to kind of get started with the base mesh. I did not include the hands in that tutorial, so this is what that is going to be about. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, now, the hands are kind of difficult, um, but I will do the best I can to kind of show you how to get started on uh, modeling the, the hands with the skin modifier. Of course, um, I hope that uh, the skin modifier will be developed even further, uh, maybe with some more options. Uh, one thing I would like to see personally is uh, be able to adjust the weight uh, of influence each vertice has. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This will look a little weird. Uh, at at first, uh, I have not added the uh, subdivision modifier uh, to this uh, mesh yet, um, and I probably won't do that until the very end. And also, uh, I won't be including the feet in this video. Uh, that's something I will work on and do at a later time. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if you have not uh, turned on your uh, limit selection to visible uh, you need to do that and you can find that icon down here on the bottom toolbar so anyway let's go ahead and select uh, this vertice here and I'm going to tap my E key to extrude we're just going to extrude it out uh, we really do not need uh, this background image of the hand for this because we're not going to really follow it. It was just there to uh, build the rest of the model. Uh, let's go ahead and tap the N key and let's go ahead and hide the front reference image there. Tap the N key to hide that again. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go control A to scale that vertice and I'm going to scale it down uh, really small because uh, this is what we're going to use to begin to build our fingers so I'm going to extrude again and build an index finger uh, something you should remember is that um, as you're extruding these out they will kind of uh, look really messy at first, uh, but that's okay. We will uh, straighten that out. And one, another thing to remember as uh, you're making these extrusions for the fingers, uh, try to make them evenly spaced as possible. It really helps. And in kind of a, uh, just kind of spread out here a little bit. Okay, there's three, and now we'll need one more finger, and then we'll do the thumb. Okay, next thing we want to do is grab this middle vertice uh, from where we started, and we want to. Uh, mark that as loose. Okay, you get some really, uh, really, uh, it looks real weird there. So now let's go ahead and uh, extrude these out. Just kind of keep them in line there. Now let's go ahead and grab all these front vertices right here. I'm going to go Control A. I'm just going to go ahead and scale those down a bit. 
and uh, right here at the root of the finger we we'll want to go in here and select those we're going to go control A again and we're going to scale down a bit uh, let's go ahead and scale this vertice down back here and grab the thumb again and maybe we want to grab these maybe and move them back just a bit uh, one thing that you definitely will want to do as uh, you're working on this hand is keep an eye on um, geometry let's go ahead and go to uh, application data and turn on uh, your wire in the display and let's go ahead and tab into object mode and we'll just kind of take a look at that geometry and that looks okay and remember that I know that uh, this does not the geometry doesn't look that great but if you're going to be sculpting on it anyway, uh, after you apply this modifier, you can go in there and, and tweak your uh, um, edges and verts and stuff and, and kind of do whatever you need to do with it. Um, let's see here. Let's go to Shift-B and kind of zoom in on that there and we may have a little kind of weird thing going on here yeah we've got this is what I mean right here. This is what you need to keep an eye on. We've got some funkiness going on there. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, there we go. Tab back into object mode. Yeah, there. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and go back to front view and let's maybe move these back just a little bit uh, the key the key thing I think is uh, keeping good spacing between each digit here go ahead and extrude those out just a little bit And then maybe you want to uh, grab those fingers and and maybe just grab them and bend them a little bit <clears throat> to kind of give you a, that build that knuckle. Probably uh, go ahead and scale them with a Control A. <clears throat> drag this a little bit and you really have to be careful when you're uh, dragging these around uh, because uh, you can uh, mess up the geometry but it's it's most certainly I think good enough to get you started with a, a base mesh um, that's about it uh, that we're gonna do on this this hand but I did want to show you something else. Okay. <clears throat> if I'm in the front view, uh, you can see my little uh, axis widget down here in the bottom left corner. And you see that the X axis is this way. Okay. Now let me explain to where 
what I'm about to talk about. Okay, I'm going to choose these two vertices, and I'm going to hit my W key, and I'm going to subdivide, and that puts us another vertice um, in between those two vertices. And then I can hit Control A and X. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Control A and X. Yeah. Okay. If I'm facing the front view and the X is uh, running across this way and I go Control A and then X, it uh, will scale it not exactly in the X but uh, in the Z. If I say um, it, you can't scale in the Z is what I figured out so far. So if I want to give this guy a muscle, I'm going to say Control A and then Y. And there you go. We've give, given this guy a little uh, muscle definition here. So anyway, let's go ahead and add a subdivision modifier and take a look at it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Uh, doesn't look that great. But if you're building a uh, fast base mesh, remember you can always, uh, after you apply it, you can go into uh, sculpt mode and, and uh, pull things around. Uh, go into edit mode and uh, maybe get rid of s some of those uh, edges. But anyway, um, that's about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to the further development of the skin modifier. It's a really awesome tool. And be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching. And uh, I may try to, in the near future, go ahead and do uh, work on uh, working out the feet. But anyway, I thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video. Have a great day.